Hey, what's going on YouTube? Swift bringing you a brand new video. Dead Frontier is the game of choice today. And this is going to be a rifle build video. I'm going to go into specifics on equipment that I run, the skills that I select, and other tips and strategies that I employ that can help you in deciding if picking a rifle build is for you. Level 38 and we're only a couple thousand away from the next level so you'll get to see how that goes. I'll get into more gameplay to showcase the, uh, the build but basically since level 25 I have been Kind of grinding here at Greywood. Now, that's probably not typical because it's a level 40 area, but with the tactic and kind of the strategy I'm going to go over, you can get to a similar point and start out here at Greywood level 25, not really even needing to go to Haverbrook, although. You want to finish some missions you know absolutely go for that but I just got done with in uh, defending an outpost and now we're working towards level 39 all right without further ado after the explanation let's go out and get this level 39 so why why gray wood level 25 well 175,611 is where we're at, and with the boosts, get a couple of quick kills. Almost already leveled up. Now I know that I've aggroed pretty much the whole thing here. I want to be quick and decisive with these shots. Go for headshots. You're going to get surrounded in no time. Take your time when you know you've got a few seconds to make your, your moves. And you want, you want to keep moving, keep strafing. You don't want to get into a situation where you, you are uh, pinched in between zombies, like from in front of you and behind you. You want to keep them as predictable and in your vision, your primary vision, as possible. Don't want to get too far from this outpost. I mean, you can go into a, a building real quick to get the aggro to go away, but. You can see here, we're already at the level. And just to get that toggled real quick, let's go in here to the outpost. And level up. Alright, so practicing what I preach, I'm just going to stick with Jogger since I'm already working on that. We're going to add the skill. We're going to go ahead and use up some of the last bit of our ammo. Alright, 1418. So that was about, that was what, 400 something XP. For a headshot for a kill. Let's see, in a matter of seconds, you can get to a couple thousand XP, you no know, problem. When we're level 25, it's going to be significantly less XP to get to those. That's why I recommend if you can get a one shot headshot on these zombies at this uh, part in the game and you have it up to uh, movement speed, decent equipment, you can level up really fast. And work on your build and getting more of those uh, skills maxed out, such as headshot or damage affected, wherever you want to improve. And uh, all those are good choices. Okay. About 4,400 XP. 
get in the zone. You can get a fair amount of XP in a short amount of time. And instead of staying in a lower level like Dalbo forever, you know, take a chance and kind of pull the game a bit. And get out here and make some plays and you're not quite at the level that you think you need to be to take on this area, you know, stick with, yeah, I, you know, go to Haverbrook, that's a good middle ground, and do some missions or you can take on the infected at an outpost, preferably get that, that boost, that 40%, assuming you get 100 outpost kills. Then you'll get that, um, which is great. And it's definitely helping me out. Here. Of course, the other expert level too. But, uh, we'll do this for a bit more. And this isn't necessarily yet ready for the bosses. At the, I think on the bosses here at this stage. Uh, but, you can take on the infected, and as long as you keep, you know, a good distance between you and your flank, basically seeing your, your you know, your peripheral, and just kind of keeping enemies in front of you best you can, you can do pretty well here, and, uh, you know, you don't really... As you've seen, I haven't gotten really, really gotten hit. So, and you're keeping your. The good thing about this is you're keeping your enemies at range, and you can get into a rhythm and you just pop off in succession. Enemies are real far away from you in most cases, and build up your XP. And when they do come close. Spend a lot of time trying for explosive shots, but in a bind you can make those shots and get to your safe spot. All right, so I hope this helps uh, players out that are starting out and trying to decide, you know, what what build to make, which guns to use. Remember that for your second weapon, it doesn't have to be the one that you switch to to use. If you need or want to have an alternate to the rifle primary for uh, situations such as taking out worms or zombies that are crawling or zombies that are at a lower level, you don't want to waste your better ammo. Um, I would say get a 20 gauge shotgun that has good damage versus infected. So you don't really sacrifice your damage output in the higher level zone such as Braidwood, but you can have an alternative where if your shot's not quite there that day you want to switch to something better for close range, better damage to the uh, body damage. I'd say run a rifle and a shotgun if you uh, want to just kind of get used to the setup. That way you're good long range and you're good close range. Alternatively, you can also run a chainsaw. You'll just have to stack up on fuel and get used to the, uh, you know, the timing of it. I myself haven't used it yet in this game, so I just know with melee or weapons that are close range, you probably want to have better armor, more meds in case you get hit more, and I wouldn't use them against bosses. I would stick with rifle and shotgun for that. Alright everyone, again I hope this video helps out, uh, basically rifle build. I would say, for me, me just starting out, 
you want to get to a spot where you're getting one shot headshots quickly and the early rifles aren't really going to have the largest clip size i think the greening has three so it wouldn't hurt with your first couple levels just to do something like rifle one reload one marksman one headhunter one sprinter one and then just cycle through those until you max them out i started getting the headshot damage up around level 25 so if you can acquire equipment that gets you five percent headshot damage and whatever just think of it as every every level of, of, of increment you can get on your equipment it's basically like you're leveling up your character. So, for example, 32% headshot damage here. That's going to be like you have leveled your character six times in headshot. So, you can find equipment that you don't have to necessarily rush certain stats. Just tailor it more to what equipment you find. But have your base skills the ones that are kind of hard to get on equipment that are important for the build so reloading marksman uh. rifle expert so on all right well i hope this again i hope this helps uh feel free to like comment subscribe uh hope, again uh i'll add more detail to the description and anyways um you know again uh, for those that didn't know, I had a couple health scares months ago, and I'm still trying to recover from all that. So, any support, even just a like or a comment, anything, um, it, it truly means it a lot to me. I'm not sure how many videos I'll be able to do, but this will help keep me engaged with, uh, you know, again the the game, uh, but also. The demand you know if there's enough i'll keep making videos so uh thanks in advance have a great day